All right, so I made a mistake and that's okay, I fixed it. Instead of daffodils, we are gonna do How Do I Love Thee, Sonnet 30, no, Sonnet 43 by Elizabeth Barrett Browning, I think her name is. So this poem is the same as this poem. And I do really, really apologize for that. So what we're gonna do instead, go to your Google Classroom page and you can go to stream if you want and you'll see that I posted something right here. I wanna replace daffodils with Sonnet 43. So if you click on it, it will open this. Now I'm doing this digitally, so I'm just gonna copy and paste this onto what I'm working with, where my packet is. Um, if you are working on the actual packet that I gave to you, just make a copy of this document, like I say here, and just put it in your AP Lit folder. We're gonna use this poem in replace of daffodils. Thank you, I apologize, I feel like a fool, but you know, stuff happens, no big deal. All right, so here is How Do I Love Thee, also known as Sonnet 43. This was written by Elizabeth Barrett Browning, and this is the time period that she was alive. So this is another older poem, and this is gonna go up against All the World is a Stage. So here we go. How do I love thee? How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. I love thee to the depth and breadth and height my soul can reach. When feeling out of sight for the ends of being and ideal grace. I love thee to the level of every day's most quiet need by sun and candlelight. I love thee freely as men strive for right. I love thee purely as they turn from praise. I love thee with the passion put to use in my old griefs and with my childhood's faith. I love thee with a love I seem to lose with my lost saints. I love thee with the breath, smiles, tears of all my life. And if God choose, I shall but love thee better after death. All right, you all romantics, let's get down to the summary. This poem is about undying, all-encompassing love. Now for subjects, I see love, identity, death, happiness, as well as fulfillment. Lastly, my friends, the parts that I liked and the parts that gave me trouble. I really love this first, well, this isn't the first sentence, I guess the third sentence right here. Again, there's tons of enjambment. There is some rhyme going on. Um, there's also some special syntax up in here too. The parts that give me a little bit of trouble, you can see highlighted in blue. Um, this part, I don't totally understand the meaning behind it, as well as this part, passion put to use in my old griefs and with my childhood faith. I don't know. I'm lost. I don't know what that means. I don't know what it's trying to say. And the same with this last part. I'm completely lost. I don't know what it means to lose saints. I literally don't know what that means. But hey, that's okay. So you now, my friends, you are going to be comparing how do I love thee to all the world is a stage. So take a look at what I wrote, compare it to what you wrote, maybe add some things and then decide which one is stronger? Only one can survive. Which one is it going to be? We shall see. <laughs>